Hello students. On this video, we are going to talk about the relationship between the circumference of a circle and the distance covered by that circular object. Now we have here a wheel of car. So it is circular, then definitely it has a circumference 2 pi r. So there is a representation. Now it if it moves, then there is a change of position. So there is a particular distance. Now the distance covered in one complete revolution is equal to the circumference of the circle in just one complete revolution. So meaning to say if you have as many revolutions then n number of revolutions multiplied to 2 pi r, pi r is the distance covered by that particular wheel. Now look at this. It gives sense when we rotate the object, right? Because we observe that the rotation will give us a particular distance and that the number of revolutions will also allow us to determine distance in relationship now to the circumference of this particular wheel or any circular object. Now let's check the relationship radius, circumference, revolution, and uh, versus distance. Let's say the, the radius is 5 meters, so 2 pi times 5 gives us 10 pi meters. And we know that the circumference, circumference of the circle represents the distance after one complete revolution, so it remains to be 10 pi meters. So what if we talk about four revolutions, then four times 10 pi meters, because one revolution is now 10 pi meters when it comes to distance, so we have 40 pi meters. Also, when we have 30 centimeters, 30 times 2 pi gives us 60 pi centimeters, and that remains to be the distance after one revolution, and 60 pi times four revolutions will give us 240 pi centimeters as a distance. For six feet, 2 pi times 6, we have 12 pi feet, and 12 pi feet represents one complete revolution. And when it comes to distance, that's 12 pi feet, and 12 times 4 gives us 48, so times pi, 48 pi feet, the distance after four revolutions. For 10 inches, we have 2 pi times 10, 20 pi inches, and that remains to be the one revolution distance, or the distance after one revolution. And 20 times 4 represents 80 pi inches, that is the distance covered after 4 revolutions. Let us have the first example. The wheels of a bike has a radius of 45 centimeters. If it generates 50 revolutions, well, how far will it travel? Okay, take note that the circumference of the circle is the distance covered after 1 revolution. So we get the circumference of the circle, and that is 2 pi times the radius r, which is 45. So we have 90 pi centimeters. And that 90 pi centimeters represents one revolution. And we are specifically referring to the distance covered after one revolution. Now, the distance traveled by the object after 50 revolutions. Take note, we're now referring to 50 revolutions. And uh, kanina, pinag-usapan natin, one revolution is equal to 90 pi centimeters when it comes. So the distance is the number of revolutions times the circumference of the circle. So we have 50 revolutions and the circumference C is 90 pi centimeters. We get the product and that is equal to 4,500 pi centimeters. We know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we divide 4,500 pi centimeters by 100 centimeters okay, to get the number of meters and that is 141.37 meters approximately. Okay, so this is how we illustrate it. The radius of the wheel of the bike is 45 centimeters. So you keep on rotating, right? You keep on rotating to have 50 revolutions. So definitely you are occupying a particular distance. Okay, you're traveling at a particular distance. Let us have the next example. The wheels of a shopping cart has a radius of 4.5 centimeters. 
If a man plans to travel a distance of 10 meters, how many revolutions of the wheel can be generated? Well, we know that the circumference of the circle is the total distance covered after one revolution. Getting the circumference, and we know that the radius is equal to 4.5 centimeters, and that 4.5 substitute that, we have 9 pi centimeters. Now, the total number of revolutions can be solved, but we need to consider first that we are talking about meters here. That we need to convert meters into centimeters as we go through. Take note that since the circumference of the circle 9 pi centimeters represents the distance after one revolution and you are traveling 10 meters, then we need to divide the total distance by the circumference of the circle for we to know the number of revolutions. And again, date note, we need to convert 10 meters into centimeters. And for each meter, we have 100 centimeters. So 10 times 100 centimeters divided by 9 pi centimeters. Okay. So we now have approximately 35.37 number of revolutions. Okay. So we need to say that the wheel should rotate 35.37 revolutions to reach it to reach the particular distance of 10 meters okay okay so how do we illustrate that so you see this man holding a cart shopping cart so he is moving his position so it's like this you know the man is moving so definitely if the man is moving he maybe he's trying to look for something so a distance is covered